Hey guys, I am back with another journal planner vlog for you guys. And today I'm going to share with you guys what I plan on using for 2022 and what I expect to get out of my system. So let's start first with the planner. So this is a Hobonichi A6 sized planner. So this cover, I got it for 2021 and I will be using it again because it is simply beautiful. It is so, it feels so good in my hand and you know, it's such a timeless cover. So very self-explanatory, it's a daily planner. All that nice stuff that we love about the Hobonichi Techo. And then in addition to this daily setup, I also wanted to experiment with the Hobonichi Weeks. I figured out that I really miss having some kind of weekly planner set up. So I hope that the Hobonichi Weeks will help kind of fill that void. This is my first time using a Hobonichi Weeks and I'm really, really excited. People do just absolutely beautiful things with this planner on Instagram and oh, I just can't get enough of it. So naturally, I just I just had to see what the hype was all about. And oh, it's so good. It's so slim, but it looks so, so it looks so sturdy, you know? It looks like I can get a lot out of this weekly setup. Who knows, it might even replace the daily planner at some point, but I don't think so, but we will see about that. I think if worst comes to worst, um, I kind of wonder if it'll be too much of a strain on the leather cover if I do this, maybe with this pen. <laughs> You know, it's not too bad. <laughs> so yeah, so that's my plan on that. So daily pages and then weekly pages. And then I got the dog and cat cover. Um, it was not my first choice. I would have much rather preferred like the plain ivory one that they had, but it kept selling out every time I wanted to get it. So I just went for the dog and the cat. I mean, it's so cute. There's a dead rat. It's fun. <laughs> See, I'm really looking forward to this setup and I hope it really works for me because if, if I'm going to have the 2022 that I'm expected to have, I'm going to need all the help I can get. In addition to these analog planners, I'm also going to use Notion, um, which I will explain how I use right now. Okay, so now let us talk about how I am going to use Notion in this upcoming year 2022. So I have been using Notion more as a master to-do list and it's just very convenient for me to have everything like here. So I will brain dump whatever like to-do list here. And by to-do list, I mean like something that doesn't need to be done right away. Like, oh, in the future, this, this, and this needs to be done. So Notion is where usually where I would dump that kind of information. And then on a weekly basis, I'll just check and um, see where I am with that. So I'll organize everything on Notion. And then from there, I will delegate with my physical planner what I want to do when. So again, master to-do list and it helps me to know what I need to do for my physical planner. So just a quick little tour now. Um, so I have some quickie links that lead to some other pages and here's a toggle down for some projects that um, I want to do this upcoming year 2022. I'm going to keep this, I won't toggle down because those projects are kind of a little private at the moment. Um, here I have some to-dos. Um, so clearly things that look like adult responsibilities. And then I have uh, this channel, Swan Book Fairy. It, right now it's easy for me to just put everything up on a single Notion toggle instead of dedicating a whole page for it, which is what I did in the past, but I didn't, I wasn't keeping up with it. So for a while now, I've just been using a toggle down list on my homepage. And then of course a calendar. So basically I'm basically when something ends up on my calendar, it goes on the Notion calendar, my physical planner. And now I have like two planners, the two Hobonichis. So everything's gonna get written down three times. <laughs> Here I have my housekeeping dashboard. So any packages that I have incoming, which I actually do have two items that I pre-ordered that I should probably put down here. Um, and then I have apartamento, apartamento, and this is where I put 
just random housekeeping things that I need to do in the future. Not a rush now. Plant babies, just some things that I want to do with plants around the apartment. And then shopping. Right now I just want to buy some WordPress templates for some domain names that I have. And then down here I have a toggle for vision boards. So like some ideas I have for next year and long term to put some vision boards together. Um, yeah, so this is the life hub where I put my my personal life and um, my housekeeping down in. Let's take a look now at grad school. So for grad school, I have this calendar, but I found myself not using it as much um, during the semester. So I think I'm gonna take this down, but what really matters is just this, right? Where I have toggle blocks for my classes. So every week, I'll put down whatever needs to be done, right? And this week literally had, this, this class was so chill. <laughs> no homework, so great, right? So it's like, why did I bother having it? But then this class, I need to update this obviously um, for the upcoming semester. I just finished um, the fall semester. So everything here reflects my fall classes. Um, so yeah, I will definitely, I love this um, page. This definitely helps me to know what I need to do in a week for which class. I swear I did this, by the way. It's just not updated. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I will definitely keep using this system. This helped me so much more than like a calendar view. And again, uh, I'll use Notion as a master to-do list and then I'll delegate on my planner what I want to do and when, and of course the due dates. Um, so that's all there is to it with my Notion. Notion is one of those things that it they're so addicting. You like you want to keep using it and play around with it, um, but right now I just keep it very simple. Um, and again, for me, it's a master to do list, and then I will put down on my physical planner what I actually need to get done in a day. So that's all there is to it for my Notion. So that was my Notion. As you can see, Notion's great, so customizable, um, and it can definitely just do whatever I tell it to do. So I think having like that, you know, digital setup in addition to this, I will just, you know, be unstoppable and never forget anything ever. So for journaling, I have these guys. So this is a Hobonichi cover. This is the Reflect cover. It's called Reflect because the cat is looking at his reflection. This is such a beautiful cover, you guys. Look at it. Cloth on the outside, the softest leather on the inside. It is, it is beautiful. The notebook that I have in this cover is this one. So this was a two pack, right? of the Miquel Rius. I really hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but this is a product of Spain and these are these are kind of hard to come by. Like I have difficulty finding these like anywhere. There are a few available on Amazon, but when it comes to like this, like A6 size, like thick grid notebook, um, it's, I don't know, for some reason they're a little hard to come by, but when I when I get them, I just like, yes, give it to me right now. So this is my system. And then uh, as you can see, it works super well. It's, it's not super snug at all. I can still close it with the first button, not the second button. I have my Muji pen, so good. And I just, I just love this notebook, you guys. It's a grid on the inside. The paper quality is really good. I've had no issues using it with my Muji pen. Oh, it's such a joy just writing in this. And because it's so economical, like they're hard to come by, but they're at a really good price point. So you can just like, you know, journal like a mad woman like I do and not feel bad about, oh, I'm, I'm you know, I'm spoiling an expensive notebook. I know that's usually a struggle with the journaling community. Oh, I have this expensive notebook. It must be absolutely nice on the inside. Meanwhile, there's now this movement to get like economically priced notebooks and then just, just go at it. The grid doesn't bother me too much on the sidelines. I think this one is just more extreme because as you can see the other one, the grid is not, is barely noticeable. I 
like something just went wrong with printing on this guy. But yeah, look at this. Oh, I love this. I already started using this and it just brings me so much joy. It looks like a vintage diary. I think that's what I really love about this. This looks like a vintage diary. It's so good. I love a small, thick notebook. Like that. that's my jam right now. Like small, thick notebooks. Oh my God. Like my heart is just screaming with happiness, just holding onto this. So that's my journaling setup. Once I'm done with this notebook, obviously I'll use this one and then hopefully I will be able to find some more. Again, usually I'm able to find these on Amazon, even though like the stock is, it's low, but you know what, there's stuff available. Something that I have wanted to do for a long time is put together a recipe book. I don't want to like write down recipes because one, that's really freaking annoying. Two, I don't have the best handwriting. Three, if I'm writing it down, I feel like it has to be perfect. So I can never find like a notebook for a recipe book. You know, I couldn't, I, I, I couldn't do that. So I'm just like, oh, what if I have like a binder system? Look up recipe books on, on Pinterest. It's, it's not cute. I don't like it. And so it was a struggle for me to find some kind of recipe book system. Here's what I ended up finding. I ended up finding the this PVC binder. This is an A5 PVC binder from Moshi Things. I've always been like fascinated by PVC binders. I think they're just, they're just so neat for some reason. <laughs> like they are very aesthetically pleasing to my eyeballs. And it's like, you know what? One of those, one of those might be great for a recipe book. And so on Moshi Things, I also got, um, I didn't get too much paper for now, but here's the plain notebook refill. I can definitely adjust the printer margins to be able to accommodate this. So I could just print out recipes, it'll be great. And then of course I have a, a pouch because I'm, I'm addicted to pouches, you guys, it's a problem. So this is what I got. This is, uh, Moshi Things doesn't really sell these as a set. So all of these are just like separate purchases, but it's still a pretty good price, I feel, especially if I want to get more of these uh, refills, these paper refills. I feel like they'll always be in stock. Um, I've never purchased from Moshi Things before, but you know, I keep seeing great things about them. Their Instagrams have been so fun lately. Like all the, all these orders that they fulfill, it's so cute. The only thing missing with this setup are dividers, right? For some reason, on Moshi things at least, I couldn't find dividers that I liked or even dividers at all. I could check again, but again, I just didn't see dividers that I liked for this PVC um, A5 binder with six rings as we can count. So yeah, I really look forward to finally putting together a recipe book. And you know what, with the PVC cover, I feel like, you know, if there's any kitchen accidents, it'll just be really easy to swipe away, you know? So this is my recipe book setup. I can't wait to print up some recipes and really just finally start collecting recipes. Yay. Let us quickly glance over some things I have on standby. So I have a lot of things on standby. It's, it's a problem. I made a video explaining how this became a problem. <laughs> so this uh, notebook, this Hobonichi cover has a Midori A6 grid notebook. So this I have been using to, I have a notebook for like a self workshop the Artist Way workshop. I'm not sure if anyone is familiar with it, but yeah, this is the notebook that I've been using to do all the tasks and prompts. So a Midori notebook is definitely great for something like that. If you ever need to like create a habit or just have like a, like a project that you wanna just put everything on. Very slim, very nice setup, very cute. So this is something that I will definitely keep reaching for and using, maybe, definitely not on a daily basis, but it's practical enough to just have it sitting at my desk ready to go. I love this cover. I bought this cover in 2018, I believe, and it's the city with the one star. And then I do believe that I saw, you know, the plain black with the blue in inside, so. I think this is a recurring cover and then the cover on cover, I'm not sure 
if anyone will be able to find it anymore, but I'm pretty sure I got this in 2018. This was part of their 2018 lineup. So that's one standby I have. Meanwhile, I have another Hobonichi cover with another Hobonichi planner and then the undated Hobonichi notebook, which is slimmer. I got another Midori um, notebook and grid as well. And as you can see, the Hobonichi undated ones are slimmer than the Midoris, right? And the Midoris are already pretty slim. So just, if you're curious about this, cause I literally bought this cause I was so curious about this, keep that in mind. But again, I think these, will, this will be great for a use like this for, oh, if I just want to have like a project or workshop notebook, these are great for that. Then I have this Dalagy notebook. This, um, yeah, this is just, there's a lot going on. <laughs> so these are my standbys. We will see if I have any uses for these guys, but then this guy, I know I'll probably keep reaching out for. So I guess at the end of the day, like, the things I reach for daily will be these three, the Hobonichi Planner, the Hobonichi Weeks, and then the journal with the Hobonichi cover. There's a theme here, right? A6 Hobonichi. <laughs> and then when I get around to a project or recipe thing, I will have these guys. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add this second Mikel Ruiz to the you know standby pile so yeah this is everything for 2022 so here's my system here's what i will have at hand and these are standbys but yeah i really love this little trio right here they are looking so good i am running out of light <laughs> seriously though i cannot get enough of my journal oh it's so good all right, guys, so that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you have in mind for 2022. In the meantime, I hope 2021 treated you all very well. I hope everyone's having a very happy holidays, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you again, and bye. Happy journaling.